We are the Falco family. Brian, Serena, Cameron, Kendall, and Savannah. A family of filmmakers exploring the truth about education. Learning to document our adventures in homeschool and life and tell stories of how we live and what we learn. Welcome back or welcome to our channel. I'm Serena from the Falco family where we make videos about education and life. Right, Sunday, we just got back from church, just grabbed something to eat and my room is still my room, okay? Hi, hi. <laughs> okay, so I'm trying to catch you guys up on um, what I'm doing today and really, I am not gonna put a whole bunch of pressure on myself to get everything done today. All I want to do is just make a little bit of progress. Um, I want to try to get the room back to some kind of normal space so that we can function tomorrow, which is the start of the week. Um, and I think I'm also going to jump into my new planner today. The goal today is to try to clean this mess up a little bit and to break into my new planner. Yes, break into the new planner. I'm always trying to do too much. My mind wants to get the entire year just kind of like mapped out. That's not going to happen. <laughs> but what I do want to do is just be diligent and sit down and get some time planning and then move along to the rest of the night and then on to the beginning of this week. So that's what I'm going to do. Things are kind of a mess, but they're coming along. I don't even know. What do I need to catch you up on? So last night they got the bookshelf over. They got all of the books moved over except for the fact that they are not in the proper order. And that's okay because <laughs> we all know that I probably was going to go ahead um, and reorganize them anyway. So we're just going to let that go. The wall here is not exactly what I wanted. And I just wanted to give myself the night to think about it whether or not i just wanted to leave it that way or i actually wanted to go and purchase a darker shade of gray and really try to get what i had in my mind out on this wall and i think i'm going to do that because i still want to use this wall as a chalk wall and this gray is just way too light um to be able to write on it the way that i want to is that better yes so yeah I basically just want to take everything that I took down yesterday to paint and put it back in the room and we'll go from there. Um, I am going to have to go and pick up at least a small thing of a darker shade of gray paint and see if I can get that up on that wall because once I get that painted and that's dry, then Brian can put up the rest of their desk situation. Also, I really wanted to go and pick up the desk not the desk, the table that I wanted to put in here, the art table. What I'm thinking is that it will fit right in this space here when it's time to do like labs and experiments and um, art projects and things like that. And then that way we can all four fit at the table and just kind of have at it. And then when we're not doing that, then I can kind of collapse that table because it goes down on both sides. It's an Ikea table um, and it has a three, I think, drawers um in the middle so i can keep some art supplies um and i'm kind of thinking it'll be nice to just kind of collapse it and then push it over into this corner where their book bags are but i don't know i don't really know if i have enough space i'm just kind of hoping that i have enough space but i'm also not wanting to clutter up the room <laughs> so anyway um that's what we're doing right now and then once I get things cleaned up, then I can get to decorating. I am currently trying to figure out what I want to do with my globes. I really wanted to have like this nice, robust collection of globes, friends. Um, I do have a few. I think I have one, two, three, four, uh, four globes in total. And I would love to be able to put it over by the mantle or something like that. I don't know. So maybe you guys can help me out and figure out where I want to put all my globes just because that's for the teacher. Just gonna try to get things tucked back into a place for now. And then after I do that, I'm gonna try to break open my planner so I can plan out the rest of the things that um, I wanna get accomplished in the next few weeks. Yes, so I don't wanna ramble. I am just wanted to say hi, start this vlog, and uh, take you along with me throughout the day. That's the goal, that's the plan, so. Let me know what you guys are up to. What are you working on? Are you working on your room? Are you working on your plans? I'm pretty sure this is about the time that we all 
get that accomplished or you want those overachievers that has the year planned all out i have fluctuated between so many different things um most of the time documentation is just my thing so i basically just have a general idea of the things that we're getting into and then i just actually document what uh, we did get accomplished each day that's normally the way that i've done things up until now but this year i'm really 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 wanting to account for all the things uh, just because we've gotten very heavy into extracurriculars and this is going to be my oldest gap year, his eighth grade year, his gap year is what we're calling it, which I'm still going to do a full update of, you know, how that has panned out. Um, but because of that, I really, 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 really want to have a very like play by play type of plan for this year, which I have never, ever done before. So I have no idea if I'm actually going to do it. <laughs> But I really want to because I figure if I have a play-by-play, -play, then I won't get so overwhelmed when things just kind of move and go the way they went this last year. Um, and so I'll, I can still be flexible. I know that I can pick and choose what I want to move or um, change or whatever, but at least I have a solid plan that I can then communicate to everybody else because I think one of the biggest things for me as homeschool mom and homeschool life is feeling like other people's plans are set in stone and because our plans have been so incredibly flexible it's like you know I don't have anything on the books so I don't know if I explained that well but that's one of my biggest things so I want to try to have our things on the books <laughs> so that when other things arise I can go straight to my calendar and say well this is going on here and this is going on there and I feel like that really served us earlier on in the years being that flexible and open but what I have found over the years is that um, in the beginning people and situations can kind of get the best of you and take advantage of the openness as far as your time and your plans because um, you don't have a solid like place to be or thing to do um I hope that makes sense so yeah I want to try to add a lot more structure to be able to communicate to others that we got things to do okay <laughs> and just because you know we didn't sign up for some other program doesn't mean that the things that we put on the books aren't what's really going on and a lot of times it's really not so much other people it's mainly something that goes on in my mind i feel like homeschool life is a whole situation like it does a whole it's done a whole number on my mind so over the years i've lived i've learned and i have tried to document things that make things a little bit better or find different solutions to the problems that i have along the way so i said this wasn't going to be long and i'm talking like forever and a decade and i'm sorry not sorry so let me just take you along on a day. Coming out here to check on my boo. <laughs> He's normally off doing his own thing. Hey babe, Bye. you wanna tell the people you're here? Uh, but they know I'm <laughs> He's out rollerblading. Don't roll over my feet. So typically whenever I'm getting ready to plan, I like to come and uh, join them when they're out and about just to ask them little questions here and there about what type of things they've been noticing or interested in and so lately a lot of the conversation for this guy is about what Cappy what's coming up this year gap year yes about gap year so so yeah sometimes oh. yeah <laughs> so sometimes we have little meetings um, where I ask him things here and there but then most of the time it looks a little bit like this where they are doing their thing where their kindles coding or cooking or savannah's um crafting or he's just out rollerblading i'll just come and see what's on their mind see what they've noticed lately what they've been interested in so now i'm, I'm bothering his time <laughs> when he has his rollerblades on he's taller than me but well, only when he has his rollerblades on. all right anyway 
I just wanted to show you guys him because oftentimes Savannah jumps in. But these two, this one, I had to come over and find somebody shade friends. One thing I'm very excited about for this year, I don't know, I feel like every time I I share some of um, our plans or things we're working on, then it just, I don't know, I feel like it hasn't fueled the creative things we've been working on. So I'm just gonna try to be as vague as possible just to protect the things that we're working on. But one thing we are doing, you know, we're building the production company and then in conjunction with that we're doing something with a platform or a space for education so i i don't know if i can say that i'm building it or that i'm just constantly writing down um, ideas and thoughts and i am excited about that because the kids are participating in building up those spaces i just don't know how they are going to pan out and when i know for sure then I'll share for sure. But for right now, um, I am really enjoying things taking time, however long they need to take. And it's been kind of strange because nowadays it's like you create something one day and the next day you, you know, put it out in the world. But I really want to for myself and also to show the kids that, you know, good things often take time, it's great things often takes time and that's okay so um that's been interesting for me to come to terms with the fact that i could be building something in the education the fact that the fact that you could be building something and be so excited about something in the education realm but you also know that it might not be for this particular time period hopefully that wasn't too vague but that's what's going on and you guys keep saying you just want to hear all the things so this is my attempt at telling you all the things <laughs> so um and this tree is giving me so much life right now while i'm trying to watch him rollerblade in the hot sun that's him right there because <laughs> it's hot out here friends Okay, so now we're getting the curtains back up. So <laughs> these are the curtains. I probably should wash them, but we'll hang those back up. And then Brian's mom is coming in clutch because she gave us these. It'll be perfect to make the window nice and full. Just bounce around more light. So <laughs> these two over here in the corner hanging my stuff. So I can put the curtains back up there. And this one, she's going to call Nana so we can say thank you for the curtains. We are hanging. I don't know what you call these. <laughs> Pegboards. They hang above the kids' desk. Um, I did clear out my cart so that I can get some books on here. I also need to reorganize some of our art supplies so that we're using them more often. We definitely have not been. So I want to go through these chalk up here then I have these boxes um, we're out in the garage so I'm gonna take them out clean them up and then line them up along the top of the bookshelf and then I think that will just give me some extra storage things that I can grab and take down when we are doing certain stuff and I'll just go ahead and put labels on all the things once I get a new cartridge for my for my label maker. I did get our book bags over here in the corner and their baskets over here. This is our little command center. I'll get something up on there soon. This is not gonna be. All right, friends, so I wanted to sit down, but I couldn't figure out a way to sit the camera down 
quick enough and um, I just wanted to get into it. So I have my teacher bag. And this is what I usually carry around that has everything that I need to like be able to grab from and um, update records or plan a little bit or whatever else. So that's my teacher bag. In here, I pretty much have, this is the binder that I typically keep with me all the time so that I can just kind of check in with myself about what I'm doing um, any given day of any given week and how we are moving forward um, in homeschool life. I also have some um, resources in here like public speaking for kids oh, and um, some other printouts, things that I printed out along the way like any of my Brave Writer sets or whatever I need to be able to get through the day and try to provide them some kind of help and guidance throughout the day. So that one I keep with me all the time. This big binder holds our printables. I told you guys about this um, before, but we just have a set of printables that we have used forever. And I have adapted and adjusted them over the years just so that they fit for any given time. But it's my tried and true. It's what I use all the time to kind of pull together any type of thing that helps me assess or helps them um, provide some type of um, physical work to add to what they are learning throughout the days. So they include like our book notes, which is our version of a book report type of thing. Um, our, um, our number report, which is basically just for showing their work when they are working through different types of math problems um, and trying to find solutions. I mean, just all of my printables. I just keep printed out in here. I have a, a binder that is inside of our devices that my ultimate goal is to get to 100% of using them digitally. And we are very close to that, but I always have a binder full of printed out printables just because if they want to use something physical, which oftentimes they might, um, they can just go and pull from it. So uh, our morning work printable is in here. And like I said, our number report, crossword puzzle, sentence and dictation, spelling pages, memory work, just all of these basic ones, story time, book reviews, experiment report, all of that stuff. I do have that one available on our website. I don't talk about it too much because it's not like I'm one of those people it's not like I'm out here trying to provide printables. I literally just put them up because people ask me for them all the time. And so I wanted to make them available if you did want to use them. But this is what we use. And this is how I keep my records every single year. And um, yeah, so I keep this binder in with that other binder. But I pretty much pull from the smaller binder every day just to check in like as teacher mommy and um, I use this one if they need it. And then the next thing I have in here is my iPad, you guys. So everything is kept digitally for me, so this is where I have it all. <laughs> everything is in here for me. Um, I take it out to plan, I take it out to search and look for inspiration, or we use it for listening to audiobooks or for um, doing research. We just use it all the time. This is kind of our version of a homeschool like computer type of deal and then everything else in between so this is mainly what i'm using but in addition to that i have tried to keep a planner for homeschool and i do have one that i fill in every year for homeschool life it's the same one we always use um and the opposite side of it is a checklist for them to be able to work through based on what they have established or what we have established that we're doing throughout the week so that is what i use for my planner it's a collection of my printables that i keep on my ipad and then it's just better for me to keep it digitally because i don't have to worry about not having it with me i can sync it anywhere and work on it anywhere and keep up with it anywhere it just works out so much better for me so this is where my like actual homeschool plans like our unit plans our weekly plans i keep them here digitally but in addition to that i did want to have like a rundown of what we are doing from start to finish for the entirety of this year 
So I wanted something that I could keep with me really easily and something that had a small amount of space because I have found that I kind of get tripped up by having more space um, and I really just in my planner because I'm always thinking about you know all the extra details to put in there but what I want this planner for this year is just to map out the like main points of what we're doing I want to be able to know you know which what we are focusing on for each think week um, which is the week off that we take after three weeks of study um, I want to know what what units we're covering what field trips we are planning on taking and my goal this year like I said earlier is to still remain flexible but have stuff on the books so I wanted something small that I could keep with me that was like less fuss I really enjoy the passion planner but lately because of how much like I'm just I'm a big dreamer and the last several years things just have not gone as planned and I wanted to take the pressure off of myself um, to just really enjoy the every day and I knew I wanted something that was small I knew I wanted something that would help me focus on today and it was so interesting because I always use a passion planner um, but lately it just it had just been overwhelming me like <laughs> I get a passion planner every year and I love it, but it had just seemed so daunting to me lately. Um, but we went to visit family um, and I saw my best friend this past, and this past week I saw my best friend and she had um, uh, an extra passion planner that she had gotten maybe a couple years ago, a year or so ago, it literally couldn't be more perfect. So it's that same passion planner stuff that I love so much, but it is small, compact, easy for me to carry and drop in my purse, my bag, to keep it with me all the time. But the best part about this is this is their passion planner um, daily. So it's all the stuff I love about the passion planner but it's short and sweet and it breaks it down by the day and I, I'm saying like it couldn't have been more perfect for me because my dreams don't need to change my plans don't need to change we have that flexibility we use the flexibility but I really just have to learn how to focus one one day at a time and so I really feel like this is going to help me do that um, what I want to do is fill in the month, you know, short and sweet, not a whole bunch of fluff, but put my intentions, set my intentions for what we are doing throughout the year, whether it's the Think Week, the unit study, the field trip, um, whatever that may be, filming time for the documentary, whatever that may be. Just set those things out in that little bit of space for the month and then just get to working day to day. Like it has a space for today's focus what's going to be my game changer, my personal, my work, my free space to grow, maintenance, um, self-maintenance. The best thing that happened today I learned is just really short and sweet and broken down by the time period and then lots of space for me to write whatever I need to write um, in the margins in between. So I feel like this is going to be perfect <laughs> for this year. And what I want to do is not be completely overwhelmed because I have to keep saying that to myself because that very much so can happen very easily. Because like I said before, I have never planned the year out completely um, the way that I want to this year. And the thought of doing that honestly is really overwhelming. <laughs> but I'm just going to take my time. Um, I have a few weeks before we start to cycle through and kind of start up our new records for this new year and um, I'm just going to give myself some time each day to sit down with my planner and just get out my plans little bit by little bit until they are all complete and we are ready to start counting down this gap year. Um, I'm very excited about that. <laughs> Um, and I know it might be a little confusing when I speak about gap year, when I speak about our unschooling life, um, when I speak about planning things out the most I ever have before in life, in homeschool life. Um, but it all makes sense to me and that's all that matters. <laughs> 
But if you have any questions that I might be able to try and start to clarify, um, that might help me just kind of get some of my thoughts out or have some things to focus on as I'm doing these videos moving forward. Um, just kind of telling you how my brain works and how they're working through things. So yeah, we're just really excited about another year of living and learning together and I'm trying to figure out where I fit in and how I fit best in this new year of homeschool life as we're all learning and growing together, friends. So I um, thought I would be able to sit down and plan in this video a little bit, but it's not looking like that is going to be the case right now um, because it's taking me a little longer to get the room together, but I am getting there. My goal every single year in getting our room together is for it to be functional for what we plan to do for the year. So I am going to finish sorting through these things, getting these things together. I'm going to download this footage edit it get it out for you guys <laughs> but yeah maybe in the next video i can show you little snippets of getting in some planning because honestly what i'm probably going to do after i finish all of this and everybody gets tucked away into their rooms and off for our bedtime routine is i am probably going to get cozy in my pajamas with my planner and my ipad and just see if i can get a little bit of my thoughts in some direction out onto the pages. All right, friends, so thanks for hanging out with me today. Remember that life is so very full of lessons and our goal, as always, is to live and to learn. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe.